guys, Alice Ford here. Welcome to Stockholm. I wanted to tell you guys a couple of tips and tricks for going zero waste while traveling. And since I have been on the road for a little while here, um, I've got a lot of things that I do that help me have either little waste or zero waste when I'm traveling. And for those of you that travel often, we all know that traveling can be pretty hard on the environment from carbon emissions from planes, um, definitely buses and cars for renting cars. Um, so it can be pretty hard on the environment as more people travel, it only gets worse. So it's a good idea to try and reduce the amount of waste you're creating when you travel. And my number one tip for this is bring your own water bottle. As you can see, I have a carabiner on mine. I hook it onto my purse when I go walking around and pretty much everywhere in Europe, you are good to drink the drinking water just straight out of the tap in the hotel um, airports. Almost all of them these days have water fountains and most cafes and restaurants are happy to fill up a water bottle if you do have one. Now there are certain places, definitely be mindful of where you are traveling to, that you might need to bring a water filter. Now there's plenty of companies out there that make great water bottles with built-in filters that all you have to do is fill up the water bottle and it will filter the water. So just double check that depending on where you're traveling. You know, a lot of um, India and Asia, you will need a water filter as well as Africa. Um, but trying to cut down on, on single use plastic water bottles is definitely something you should be mindful of. And also while we're on that topic, let me reach over here. Something else that I always bring is a reusable coffee cup because I am a coffee addict. Uh, coffee is something that I have a couple times of day depending on where I'm at and bringing your own coffee cup is a great idea. This one is made out of silicone and it actually folds up. Oops, it's got a little water in it. <laughs> it's, it folds up and it's easy to transport in your backpack so it's nice and small and then when you want to go have a cup you just open it up and it's great. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is just take the time to dine in. <laughs> You know, most coffee places um, or cafes will let you dine in with actual reusable cups. Imagine that. <laughs> so just slow travel is also a great way to reduce your waste while traveling. And the third one, while we're just here in my little living room, is to bring a reusable bag with you. Now, I carry a purse, sometimes I carry a backpack, and I always throw in there a little bag that I can easily fold up into something really small. And that way, if you wanna buy souvenirs or something at the grocery store, you have a bag that you can put stuff in. So I'm gonna take you guys now into my bathroom and show you a couple more tricks that I use in there. Another way that I like to reduce waste or go zero waste is by using refillable containers for my toiletries. Um, I have a bunch of these that I've had for years and I don't buy new ones until they break, which sometimes I do. I actually have some silicone ones at home as well um, that I've kind of upgraded to from these plastic ones. But I put my sunscreen, my conditioner, my shampoo, my face wash, face toner. This one's got you know my uh, coconut oil in here and you can just refill them when you're home and then bring them with you on your travels. It makes things a lot easier. And then you don't have to use these, these little guys here. My last little quick tip before I go out and explore Stockholm is to bring your own reusable um, silverware and straws. Um, in the United States, we've recently had a couple of states or cities that have banned straws. This little container is great. It's super small. You can fit it in your bag. Um, men if you have a little bag that you carry with you this can also go in there or it's got a carabiner put on your belt i mean you might look silly but um if you do go to a restaurant or you get some takeout food that does not have you know reusable um, cutlery or silverware this thing is great it's got a spoon a fork chopsticks a knife and i've even got my straw in here with my little straw cleaner and it comes in very handy you know, last week I was actually in Norway and I went on a crab safari and they gave us plastic cutlery. So I said, no thank you. I brought my own and I use that instead. And it's great even at coffee shops or if you go to the grocery store and pick up something in a to-go container. Um, highly recommend that everyone gets one of these because plastic silverware cannot be recycled and um, it it definitely usually ends up in the ocean, um, polluting our, polluting our our seafood and our marine life. So 
those are my quick couple of tips for staying zero waste while traveling if you guys have other tips or um things you'd like me to add please let me know in the comments and i will make another um longer video on these um in the future so thanks for, for watching guys and check out some of my other videos from norway and sweden as well as some of the other places that i travel around the world don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys soon bye